Alright, what's good YouTube? This is your boy Shino with Lego Go Back in here like I don't know what's poppin' though. Welcome to the first episode of Fairy Tale Fridays. Now Fairy Tale Fridays is gonna be a series on my channel that I'm gonna do every Friday. You hear that? Every Friday I'm gonna do Fairy Tale Fridays. This is where I'm gonna upload my Fairy Tale Top 5 series. You know, I'm gonna have different categories for you guys. I'm gonna have different like, you know, descriptions, like different methods of doing it. Um it's not gonna be all the same, it's not gonna be all like copy paste copy paste it's gonna be like different every friday so right after the uh, fairy tale fridays come out later on that night after the new episode of fairy tale drops i'm gonna do a review off that off the dump so with that being said let's get into today's top five today top five is none other than top five dragon slayers now with that being said these are my personal opinions my own thoughts on how i feel about it these are not facts from the anime these are just how i feel about the characters in general you know i'm not going off of stats and statistics i'm going off about what i like and what i think is like dope as fuck so with that being said you you know um let's hop into this bitch and uh go ahead and smash that like button people yeah let's get it coming in at number five on today's top five dragon slayers we have none other than rogue rogue is one of the members of saber tooth you know i like rogue's design overall like this man is pretty beast but also for the fact that he's like the darkness and one of the twin uh dragon slayers that shit right there alone is just when you right there i like his uniqueness um they don't give too much of they don't give him too much credit in the story because i feel like sometimes he's like overlooked over Oh, well, look down upon because he has Sting about like right next to him, and Sting is a little bit, you know, it seems like Sting is more of the attention seeker than actually the rogue. I want to see his character development more, grow more. But overall, I love this guy's design. I like his like his ominous charm because like he goes from this like dark, eerie type of thing, and it, that that right there alone just made him number five on my top five. Right there, like you just came in and you destroyed shit. Like I, I agree with your style. I love your finesse. I like the shadowness, the sneakiness. Plus, I enjoy like your Dragon Slayer magic. That right there is like giving you a fucking a spot on this top five. So with that being said, Rogue, you have came in at number five on today's top five. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Hey! Trying to fuck your bitch at number four is none other than Loxus. Loxus is one of those guys you just have to sit there and look at. Like that guy right there, he's one of the most powerful fairy tale wizards to exist. This man is S-Class -class Wizard. He is also the grandson of the headmaster of fairy tale. You watch as Loxus basically like develops throughout the anime. Now, overall, throughout the anime and the manga, I enjoy Loxus character as a whole like I, he's one of the most badass characters i've seen and i do enjoy like lightning uh magic like that dragon slayer magic alone right there just went me over but he wasn't created like the other dragon slayers he was like a different type of dragon slayer so i thought that was pretty unique like that he was like one of the um the like the specimen he was like a freaking uh, he came from a lark a lark I always forget that fucking weird name. And you know what I mean. He was an experiment dragon slayer. You know, he wasn't, he was artificial. He wasn't raised by an actual dragon. He didn't learn authentic from a real dragon. He got taught from like humans and he was like an experiment. But overall, that right there makes him pretty unique. And on top of I love his style and he's like one of the most powerful wizards in fairy tale. So right there, you just earned a number four. Yeah, nigga, yeah. You just did the damn thing. I like that. Alright YouTube, coming at number three is none of this Sting. Sting is one of my favorite fairy tale dragon slayers of all time. Like right off the bat, he has light magic. Plus, you get to watch his character develop. You watch him come from this like peace loving character to this like mid mid core like almost evil type of guy. Because you see, as his headmaster kills Lecter, um, he just like berserks. He overwhelms himself with energy in the new series. He comes out with full force, and he's like, "Yo, I'm about to use this power that I never used before. I'm about to take you down. I'm about to show you how real I really am. I'm about to give you this almighty work." So right there, Sting, you earn like credibility. Like you fucked up the headmaster, dude. So that basically puts you as headmaster to me. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how that goes in the fairy tale world. But you, that nigga, nigga, you just punch a nigga's dollar. You just, you just like, yeah, get that motherfucker work, nigga. I'm gonna hit him where it hurt, nigga. I'm coming like my name is Mr. Murder, nigga. So right there alone, earn you a number three slot. Good job, Sting. So moving on. <laughs> now coming in at number two is the same nigga that tried to fuck your bitch. This nigga is Gajil. Now. We all know and we all seen the character development of Gajil. He came from a different group as well. And on top of that, he actually stole everybody's girl. Like, Levy is all over him. Like, people used to say, you know, Levy was going to get with the other guy. But that's not looking like it in, in this episode to me. Well, not these episodes, but the, the, the manga and the anime. Nah, I lost confusing my words. But in the, in, in the recent episodes of uh, Fairy Tale, I feel like he is taking over. You know, he's came in there and he's like, yo. I'm about to put my foot down, you know, I'm about to take this bitch. I don't care if you guys like it or not, this my bitch. Straight up. It's like everybody has a pair now. 
like that's awesome and overall i love your design like this is one of the guys that has like this spiky long hair this man is like one of the full forces that drive the team you know he kind of got lost at the end of the, the freaking stadium and that kind of fucking pissed me off because i felt like he was like needed to for the progression of the story but then he comes back you know, after like a week and then he looks like a whole different person and i thought that was dope as fuck so right there that kind of kept me going so thanks for changing this character style um that earned him a solid number two this man is amazing so give it up for gaijia whoa so i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna act like i don't know who number one is you know who number one is we all know who number one is God damn it, his motherfucking Natsu Dragonel. That nigga is off the wall insane. Natsu is one of the, my most favorite characters of all time. This is one of those guys that just don't give up. You know, every time he wants to take down a foe, he goes for it. He goes for, like, the whole punch. He doesn't just do half-stepping. He gives his all. This man does not fuck around. Like, you see him take down Jail. You've seen him go as many different challenges. He, on, he took on Gildorts at that. Like, you know how many people get bopped by Gildorts? He was actually brave enough knowing he would still possibly get bops to take on guild darts like right there alone and this man ain't god flanks plus he fucked up loxus and he got some lightning power god damn this nigga is running it overall natsu is my favorite character of all time i love his design i love his enthusiasm this is one of those guys that just never gives up he is just like the ultimate credibility star of fairy tale to me i feel like he's the definition of the fairy tale guild he's like everything they represent in one person so with that being said you earned a solid number one and i hope you guys enjoyed this top five but until next time this has been shino wala go i'll see you later on tonight with the epi first episode of fairy tale fridays the the main event you know like fairy tale fridays the nighttime uh i always get confused because it's a lot of f's like fairy tale fridays and it's like blah, 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 blah. but yeah uh smash that button i kind of carry though so bye guys